If the HPV vaccine is currently part of your national immunisation programme, how well are you reaching adolescent girls in the community? While there are vaccines recommended for adolescents through routine immunisation or campaigns such as measles, meningitis and varicella, your country may be mostly focused on vaccinating infants and young children. Communities may not be familiar with a vaccine targeting adolescents, and specifically adolescent girls. Girls and their parents or caregivers may have many questions about the vaccine. To improve uptake of the HPV vaccine, you will need to increase community awareness of cervical cancer prevention, as well as demand for the HPV vaccine. Your communication efforts can help you build trust in the community. Your communication efforts should target girls specifically and the people in a girl's life who will influence whether or not she receives the HPV vaccine, like her parents or caregivers. In this video, we will discuss how to select effective messages and strategies for discussing the HPV vaccine with parents and caregivers. But first, what is the HPV vaccine? The HPV vaccine helps prevent cervical cancer by protecting against different types of human papillomavirus or HPV. Nearly all cases of cervical cancer are due to HPV infection. Cervical cancer is the leading cause of death from cancer among women in low- and middle-income countries. HPV vaccines are safe and effective at preventing HPV infections and cervical cancer. HPV is a common virus and is mainly transmitted through sexual contact. Therefore, the vaccine is most effective when administered to a person before they become sexually active. The HPV vaccine is delivered to girls during adolescence and may be administered in one or two doses with a minimum of six months between doses. The vaccine can also be delivered to adolescent boys and older women and men. Consult your national policies for guidance on which vaccination schedule to follow in your country. Messages about the HPV vaccine should be clear, simple and accurate. To develop and test your messages about HPV vaccination, it may be helpful to first hold focus group discussions and key informant interviews. These discussions will help you understand what parents and caregivers do and do not know about the HPV vaccine. Listening to and understanding the needs of parents and caregivers is part of the community engagement process and signals genuine care for addressing their views. Once you have learned about the concerns of parents and caregivers in the community, you should include messages to address those concerns in your communications. Emphasize the benefits of HPV vaccine, including protection from cervical cancer. Also emphasize the importance of receiving both doses if your country follows a two-dose schedule. Reassure them of a vaccine's safety with endorsement from reputable health experts who are respected by girls and parents. Share positive stories and supportive advice from influential sources, such as other girls who have received the HPV vaccine or female teachers, health workers or family members. Advise caregivers when and where they can access HPV vaccine for their children and if there is a cost for the vaccine. For example, can adolescents receive the vaccine through their school? Include information about possible side effects. The most common side effects of HPV vaccines are usually mild and last a day or two. They can include pain, redness or swelling in the arm where the shot was given, fever, headache or feeling tired, nausea, muscle or joint pain, or dizziness or fainting. Awareness of possible adverse events will help reduce fear and address misconceptions about negative side effects, pain during vaccination or soreness afterward. 
Address misconceptions and rumors. In your communications, do not repeat the rumor. Restating it could unintentionally reinforce the rumor. Instead, share facts and provide positive stories and examples of the vaccine's safety. For example, girls and their parents or caregivers may have questions about why the vaccine is only targeted at adolescent girls. They may have heard myths that the HPV vaccine causes infertility. You could address this myth by reassuring girls and their parents or caregivers that the vaccine is safe and prevents cervical cancer. The safety of the vaccine also means that those who get it can still have a family in the future. The vaccine does not impact their ability to conceive. You may also share positive stories of women who were vaccinated and then had families. You know your community well and may select the most appropriate messaging for the parents and caregivers in the community you serve. It may be helpful to use multiple strategies to deliver and reinforce your messages about HPV vaccination with parents and caregivers. Parents' decisions are heavily influenced by receiving information from sources they trust, such as their families and close friends, local health workers, teachers and religious leaders. For example, you may choose to speak with a community leader about how the HPV vaccine prevents cancer, so they may advocate openly for vaccination in the community. Parents prefer to receive information through interpersonal, direct communications and discussions. This could look like speaking with parents and caregivers at outreach sessions about HPV vaccination, or holding focus group discussions to address parents' questions and concerns. Materials such as short, frequently asked questions handouts or simple brochures in locally understood languages or delivering key messages on local radio talk shows may help reinforce the messages you deliver in person. Another strategy for reaching mothers or female caregivers with messages about HPV vaccine is to provide information when they are accessing cervical cancer screening services for themselves. This will help promote intergenerational conversations about disease prevention among adolescents and their mothers, aunties or other female caregivers. You should now know how to select effective messages and strategies for discussing the HPV vaccine with parents and caregivers.